Well, here's a look at our weather video of today. An Indiana graduate student wanted to get a bird's eye view of the drought conditions in the state. He built a drone with an HD camera to survey the devastation. The video shows dried and cracked lake beds, brown fields of corn, and desolate soybean crops. Now, the federal government declared a disaster in more than 1,500 counties in the area because of the drought conditions, and this is the worst drought in 56 years. Now, here back in Oregon. We aren't seeing the drought conditions on the uh, western side of the state, though we're all beginning our summer dry out uh, common for this time of year. Uh, we did make it into the 70s today here in Eugene. 79 was the height, a degree shy of 80, uh, about five degrees below average for this time of year. But compared to the rest of the state, some places saw some um, unusually warm temperatures along the coast, making it to 70 degrees in North Bend today, uh, 66 up towards Newport, even Brookings making it to 75 degrees. Now, now all along I-5, it was kind of mixed bag, 74 up in Portland, 81 was the high today in Corvallis, but even 85 down in Roseburg and 93 in Medford. But warmer temperatures, of course, back onto the eastern part of the state where Ontario makes it our hot spot of the day, 98 degrees out there, so still very warm for their third day in a row. Now temperatures right now are still holding uh, in the 70s in most areas, 78 in Eugene, 75 Cottage Grove, but we still have those three warm spots, uh, Corvallis, Roseburg, and Ben still sitting in the low 80s. Along the coast, we are in the low 60s across the area, uh, so a nice night out there. Now, big picture-wise, what we have going on, pretty much nothing. We have those clear skies, central Oregon, as well as western Oregon. A few clouds now beginning to filter in along the coast, and we'll expect those clouds to increase across the entire area as we head into tonight, though they'll be not as thick as what we've seen the past couple of nights. But we're still going to see a cool start to the day tomorrow. Uh, temperatures are going to be in the upper 40s, 50s in some spots, uh, but mostly sunny by the afternoon, and we're looking at warmer temperatures than today by a few degrees or so, but even warmer temperatures as we head into the weekend. So big picture wise, what we have going on, we have high pressure over the southwestern part of the country, and this is what is having an effect on our weather, uh, keeping us dry across the area, and it's going to continue to keep us dry through the end of the week and the weekend, and we're looking at warmer temperatures as we head into the weekend. So along the coast, mid 60s, partly sunny skies tomorrow, but we're going to see some breezy conditions because see some winds 10 to 20, gusts even up to 30 miles per hour, but we'll stay in the mid 60s as we head throughout the week ahead, even into the weekend and into next week uh, with a mix of clouds and sun each day. On Clovesa, mid to upper 80s, so adding a few degrees on, making it into the low 80s today. Mostly sunny skies will have those clouds to start the day, but those burn off by late in the morning, so sunny skies to finish the day. We'll stay in the upper 80s through Friday, then low 90s for the weekend, and then cooling back off into the upper 80s for next week. Low 70s over the passes, low 80s in the foothills, mostly sunny skies for those of you in the Cascades. Central Oregon looking at another sunny day. Upper 80s tomorrow, and we'll warm into the 90s as we head into the weekend, cooling back off into the upper 80s for next week. For the valley, low to mid 80s tomorrow, so adding on a couple degrees. Mostly sunny skies there. We'll warm into the mid 80s for Friday, and then this weekend we'll clear out those skies. Sunny skies each day with highs back into the upper 80s.